Hi everyone and welcome to another Model Railway review from Class 47 Peter and in today's review I'm going to be taking a look at some rolling stock and I'm going to be reviewing the Flangeway Snow Plows. Now these snow players that I have just here are the ABC limited edition ones which these are both the Snow King and Snow Queen snow players. You can buy them from the KMS Railtech website but that's just to help facilitate the payment. It's ABC workshops who ship the models out because these models are limited edition to ABC workshops. And I've had these for at least a few weeks now, and I've only just got around to doing a video on them because I've been busy doing other things. For example, doing things on the layout and filming other videos. So here are both snow plows out of the boxes. Now, with these models you do get some icebreakers, which are these parts here, which you can fit if you want to. I'm not going to bother personally. Now, these are the second snow plows that I've had, because the first ones I had, had the one snow plow had some nasty black scratches on where the yellow paint was along here. And they were quite noticeable, so I sent them back and I got a replacement, which are these two here. So how well do these snow players stack up then? Well, first of all, we have some separately fitted handrails on the model. They are made of engineering plastic, but they are separately fitted. But then that they're made out of engineering plastic is not a bad thing, really. We've got a warning sign there as well that's crispy printed. And you got some footsteps as well for the crew to climb up and to either stand on here or to get into that little door there. And of course you have these axle box covers as well with a few rivets around them. Lift application, it's really really good on this model. I do really like the triple grey livery on these snow players because it really does suit them and it makes them stand out more I think. Very nice crisp livery, as you can see, for the livery. Especially with the hazard warning stripes, or wasp stripes, whichever you choose to call them, on the plow itself. You've also got the names and the plaques as well, which are crisply printed on the sides of the body. So this one is Snow King. The other snow plow is Snow Queen. You don't get any etched plaques or nameplates but you possibly could get them from somewhere else but I'm not personally bothered by that and also you've got the rail freight distribution logos there that you see that go down the sides of the loco those thin strips of them they are crispy printed on the ends of the plow and again you've got another warning sign as well you've also got some lamp irons as well which they are moulded on, but they are painted and they still look nice otherwise. You've got some more detail here as well. Which they are latches to open up to get to these bits here. We have the rear of the snow plow. Again we have moulded lamp irons. We have a warning sign. And we have a window there at the back and there is glazing in that window as well and you also have a name pocket with a tension lock coupling these will eventually have the hunk couplings fitted but for now they will retain the name couplings 
These models are also fitted with metal wheels, which is good. I mean, they will pick up a little bit of dirt, but in my experience, the plastic wheels tend to pick up a lot more dirt than the metal wheels. And with the plastic wheels, they, they tend to get a larger build-up of dirt on the wheels, and that tends to gunk them up and prevent them from running as freely as they should do. Overall, Flansworth captured the look of the prototype superbly. All the details that you see on the real snowplows are present and correct. I can't see any that are out of place. I mean, they're not the most highly detailed of rolling stock that I have, but then in real life they're not the most highly detailed rolling stock anyway. It would have been nice if some of these moulded details, like the lamp irons and the door handle, were separately fitted, but we'll let that slide. So now we're going to get these running. So here we have the Snow King and Snow Queen snow blowers being propelled around the layout by a Class 37 and this one is a fairly new acquisition. This one is 37507 Hartwood Pool Pipe Mill which is a Rail Express Limited Edition that was sold to me by a member in the Mother Railway Trading Group on Facebook and it's an absolute beauty in absolute pristine condition it has a certificate with it and everything I'm not going to do a review on this loco because I've done loads of reviews on the 37s but this is the first duty this lo that this loco has had on the layout I mean usually there's two locos in between these snow plows, but I've just got one loco out just to show you the snow plows running on the layout But well, there's no problems with either of these models. They all run smoothly around the layout, which is what you want to see. The snow plates in particular, I mean, the wheels on them, they are really free-flowing. Because when I actually put them on the layout, the one started rolling away by itself. And so they are really, really smooth. And I think livery wise, because the 37 is in the triple grey livery as well, I think that looks stunning, that size. It may not necessarily be prototypical for a triple grey loco to run with these snow players. I can't say for certainty because I've not seen these snow players in real life. But I don't really care about that because always remember rule one, it's my layout, I run what I like. And this is one of the reasons why I bought these snow players, so they would go with my not 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 just my diesel locos, but with my triple grey livery locos as well, because I think they really do suit them. So what's my overall verdict on these models? Well, they're not amazing models, it has to be said, but they are good models. I mean, for the standard flangeway snow players, they cost around, well, to get a pair of them, that would be 74 quid. These models of Snow King and Snow Queen, they are a bit more expensive, being priced at £85, but then they are limited editions. So there are limited quantities of them. But, I don't think the price is bad. I still think that these models are still worth getting, because they are good models. I mean, they're not the most highly detailed rolling stock out there but then they aren't in real life anyway so there's not really a lot of detail to these snow players regardless but they are nice to have on the layout especially with the diesel locos even for one in the triple grey livery you know they are really really nice models so they are still worth getting I think in my opinion so if you guys are after a pair of flangeway snow players I would definitely recommend you get some whether it's one of the standard ones in network rail livery or if it's these limited edition ones I say go for it because they are still worth getting and these ones these were actually released before 10 years ago these exact ones which I missed out on and they've been released again and it's, it really is nice to have these snow players on the fleet so these are really good models so that brings me on to the end of this review of the Flangeway Snowplayers. In the next review, I shall be taking a look at a locomotive. But thank you for watching my review on the Flangeway Snowplayers. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel check out all my other videos and feel free to post a comment and hit the like button and I'll see you again next time take care and bye for now